Hi everyone, welcome to the second in my IELTS grammar video series. This video is about determinus. Now the previous video was about nouns. I recommend that you go back and watch that one first. But yes, this one's about determiners and their relationships with nouns. This video will also include how to use plurals and how to not use determiners at all in some cases. So let's get into it. We've got a lot to learn here. I think this will be a bit challenging the deeper we go into the video. So there are many kinds of determiners. I won't bore you with all the technicalities. I'll just give you the three basic ones that I see. So firstly, there are articles. Um, then we have possessives. And we have all the other ones. I'll just call them general determiners, but it's like everything else. Articles, as you probably know, are the words a, an, and the. A, the basic idea of a, is it goes with singular, general, countable nouns. So you know about these from the previous video. Singular is well, just one thing. It comes from the word single. So a one individual noun. Uh, plural, more than one. That's all that means. And uncountable ones you can't count. Again, that was explained in the previous video. So, a or an go with singular general countables and with vowel sounds after them. And the word the goes with specific nouns and set expressions. When I say specific nouns, I mean the reader or the listener knows the one that I'm talking about. Let's dive into some examples. Uh, here are three examples for articles. Paris is a city. Baden is an artist. Can you see the spider? The spider that I'm looking at. You know the one that I'm talking about. Now, the is a little bit more difficult than the other two because it's used beyond just that specific noun context. It's used in set expressions as well. So here are some. Look at the ball. That's just a countable noun in a specific context. But here we've got it's always the same. The same is a specific expression. You always see those together. I go to the gym. Okay, I might go to a gym, but we just say the gym. The same with the beach. I like to go to the beach. Why the? I don't know. It's a set expression. I sleep in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon set expressions. It's the biggest one, the biggest, the best, the most beautiful. These are what we call superlative adjectives, which we'll look at in a later video. Um, the always goes before them. And lastly, it goes with countries. The main three that you need to remember are the Philippines, the UK, and the USA. So the goes with all of those. Here are some examples how the goes with different kinds of nouns. So some people think the only goes with singular nouns. That's not true. It can go with singular, plural, and uncountable. So for example, a singular noun, okay, can you see the spider, the one I'm looking at? Can you see the birds, plural? Can I drink the water, uncountable, here? So it goes with all of those. Um, so that's the basics of articles. Let's get on to the second kind of determiner that, that I see, and these are possessives. So examples, my, your, their, his, her, its, you're probably familiar with these words. Um, they're technically determiners as well. Uh, on the screen, there are some examples for you. My bed is messy, my clothes are on the floor, my happiness is important. Going with every kind of noun. Countable plurals, countable singulars, and uncountables. So possessives go with all of those. Now we have all the other determiners. I've just got a few here, but these determiners focus on which one. It tells you which one uh, and how much or how many. So which one am I talking about? This one, that one, these ones, those ones. Uh, so you'll see those words, um, they are determiners. How much, most, some, any, determiners, every, another, one, counting, one, two, these are also determiners. There are a big lists of them. If you want, you can go research them. But this is the basic idea, and I want to push through these. 
Now, here's a golden rule for you, um, something to keep in mind. The rule is, if my noun is countable and singular, I must have a determiner. It's something you can edit for. If you ever see a countable singular noun, there has to be a determiner before it. It might not be a and or the, it might be one of those other determiners or a possessive, but there must be some kind of determiner before it. Let's look now at how to use the, a, an, plural, and no article. So first we'll start with talking about singular nouns. So when we're speaking specifically about anything, we use the word the. For example, do you see the spider, the spider I'm looking at? We all know the spider I'm talking about. So that's why we say the, I'm speaking specifically. Did you read the book I gave you? Not just a random book, the one I gave you. We both know the book I'm talking about. That's why I'm using the here. So that's speaking specifically. But when you're speaking generally about singular nouns, we use a or an. For example, I watched a good movie. You don't know which movie I watched. I'm just saying I watched a good movie. Next one, I met a friend last week. You don't know who the friend is that I'm talking about. It's just a random friend. I'm speaking generally. So that's why we would use a or an in those cases. Let's now talk about plural nouns. So with plural nouns, you won't use a or an. The question is, will you use no article or the word the? Let's have a look here. Speaking generally, use no article with plurals. Few examples. I like watching movies. Not watching the movie, not watching a movie, not watching movie, watching movies. No article, no the. People need to eat healthy food. People, in general, speaking generally, I use the plural form. Not a person, I use people. If you're speaking specifically about plurals, use the. So, for example, I watched the movies you recommended. These are not random movies. These are the ones you recommended. We both know which movies we're talking about. So that's why it's the with movies. I met all the people on my new team last week. We know the people I'm talking about, the, the team, they're specific people. So we're using the with plurals there. Now for uncountable nouns, if you're speaking generally, use no article. For example, crime, the idea, the uncountable idea of crime is a problem in my city. No article. Time, the idea of time, will fix the problem. No article. But if I'm speaking specifically, even if it's uncountable, I will need the word the. For example, I love the beauty. Beauty is uncountable, but it's specific beauty. It's the beauty of nature. It's a specific beauty there. Next one, imagine we're eating and I say, hey, I need the sugar. All right, we all know the sugar I'm talking about, the sugar on the table, but it's uncountable, but it is specific. So we use the so basic rules there. Uh, another little one, this is for Spanish speakers mostly. Sometimes Spanish speakers have a problem with a uh, and one. Uh, so quick, quick rule, okay, this is particularly for you guys. If you're speaking generally, follow the rules from before. So it's a uh, with singular nouns when speaking generally. I met a friend last week, I have a goal, right? But if the number is important, we use the word one. For example, I only have one friend, poor me, okay? That's important that we know it's only one. That's why I'm using one friend, not a friend. Next one, why one goal in life is to be happy. I'm saying there's not two goals, I only have one. So in those cases, we use one, not a. Lastly, I wanna put it all together and give you a practice activity. So what I've got below is an extract from one of my own essays. And I want you to follow a basic rule. 
uh, as you do this activity. So my second golden rule for the video is use plurals and uncountables whenever it's possible. So if you're in doubt, go with plural, go with uncountable. What you need to do in this activity is look at all the bolded nouns in this paragraph. I want you to decide if you need to put a and the, no change, or a plural, following that golden rule. What I'm going to do, my next slide is the answers for this. So I don't want you to see them yet, I want you to try it yourself. So pause the video, and in five seconds, I'm going to move on to the answers. I would like you to try them yourself, and then we can move on to the answers. All right, let's go. Let me explain why the answers are the answers. So the marketing of sports products, I'm speaking generally here, so I've gone with plural, is a good thing. I can't go with plural here, I'm only talking about one. Thing is countable, so I have to use a. For both companies and players, obviously I've got the word both, I have to use plural. An obvious advantage is that companies, same, are able to raise awareness. Now, awareness is uncountable. It's just a general idea. So no article of their sports products, same as before. For instance, Nike made their brand famous with the assistance of Michael Jordan. Now, assistance is uncountable, but I use the word the because it's specific assistance. It's the assistance of Michael Jordan. It's not just assistance in general. And this has been a model of business success ever since. It's only been one model. Um, there are many models as well. This is just one random model. So it's the word R. Okay. Our model of business success. Success is just a general idea. It's uncountable. So no change to that one. The players themselves can also become financially successful by endorsing brands. Brands in general, so I went with plural. With this money, they are often then able to start foundations in general, give back to their communities in general, so I keep using plurals here, or simply enjoy being wealthy. So if you were able to get all of those right, you understand the video, and that's great. If you still had trouble with that, Maybe rewatch the video once or twice uh, to try and grasp this. This sort of activity is, is good even for very high level students. I find people that write sevens and eights still make these kinds of mistakes. If you can get good at this, it's really impressive in both your speaking and your writing. It, it really is like the, the final polish to an essay. It's just like beautiful to see. So that's the video, that's determiners. Um, if it's really helpful, uh, let me know in the comments and also share the video with others who you think could learn from this as well. That would be great. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, cheers, all the best.